Delta Force and SEAL Team 6 are two of the most remarkable and highly skilled special operation forces on the planet. With unparalleled levels of expertise, these exceptional teams are feared by their enemies and respected by their allies. Their ability to accomplish missions with precision and effectiveness is truly awe-inspiring. It's no surprise that they are considered the elite of the elite in the realm of special operations. The Delta Force, which is officially known as 1st Special Forces Operation Detachment Delta, is a unit of US Army, while SEAL Team 6, officially known as DEVGRU, is an elite unit within the US Navy SEALs. Both units are under the operational command of JSOC. Today, we will shed a light on how are these super soldiers trained? What specialized equipments and tactics do they use? And if they were ever to go to head to head, how would they fare against one another? There is very little publicly available information about these highly sensitive units. However, we try our best to uncover the answers to these and many other questions. Number 1. Delta Force is a Tier 1 Special Operations Force for the US Army that specializes in counterterrorism, hostage rescue, direct action, and special reconnaissance against high-value targets. The unit, headquartered in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, was inspired by the British SAS and has a similar structure. While the US government does not officially acknowledge the, its existence, the Delta Force was established in response to the numerous terrorist attacks occurred in the 70s. Although the candidates can come from other military branches, the majority come from the 75th Ranger Regiment and Green Berets. The Delta Force operators are also called Sin Perry Warriors, which is derived from the US Army Special Operations Command motto of without equal. The origins of DevGru can be traced back to Navy SEALs created by Richard Marcinko in 1980. Marcinko was the first commanding officer of the unit. At the time, there were two SEAL teams, SEAL Team 1 and SEAL Team 2. To mislead Soviet intelligence about the actual number of SEAL teams, Marcinko decided to name the new unit as SEAL Team 6, which was exclusively formed from the existing pool of Navy SEALs. In 1987, SEAL Team 6 was dissolved and replaced by DevGrew, which is still commonly referred to as SEAL Team 6. Similar to Delta Force, this Tier 1 Special Force unit specializes in unconventional warfare and counterterrorism operations on land, air, and especially on sea. Number 2. The selection process of Delta operators takes place twice a year and lasts for four weeks at Camp Dawson, West Virginia. The applicants must be a male, having a high score in military aptitude tests and having at least two and a half years remaining on their enlistment. All candidates must be eligible for a secret level security clearance and have a clear disciplinary record. The process begins with standard physical tests, a two mile run followed by an inverted crawl and a 110 yard swim while fully dressed. The candidates then underwent a series of land navigation courses, one of which involved traveling 18 miles at night while carrying a 40 pound rucksack to navigate unknown territories with only a paper map and compass. The final challenge, also known as the long walk, required completing a 40 mile march over rugged terrain with a 45 pound rucksack. The mental testing involves psychological exams and questions from Delta instructors, psychologists, and the commander. The attrition rate for the selection course is very high. At 90% of candidates are unable to pass the course. On the other hand, the candidates for SEAL Team 6 are put through a series of physical, psychological, and technical assessments designed to evaluate their ability for the unit. Candidates must have a minimum of five years of experience in the SEAL Team or the Special Boat Service and have completed at least two deployments. They must meet a variety of other requirements, including age, rank, clearance level, and physical fitness standards. The selection process includes a variety of challenging exercises, such as long distance ocean swims, combat diving, parachuting, and live fire. Candidates are also evaluated on their ability to work effectively as part of a team and their leadership potential. Only 50% of candidates who apply for SEAL Team 6 successfully pass the selection process. Number 3. The training for Delta Force is one of the most challenging in the world. Those who successfully cleared the selection go through a six-month rigorous operator training course divided into six blocks. 
The first block is marksmanship, which starts with shooting close-range stationary targets, progressing to moving targets, and finally, clearing rooms of enemies. In the second block, the focus is on demolition and breaching techniques, such as lockpicking, IED fabrication using ordinary materials, and establishing sniper positions in and around the building. The third block is combined skills, where trainees integrate the skill they acquired in the initial two blocks and apply them in direct action, counterterrorism, and hostage rescue operations. In the fourth block, CIA instructors teach espionage skills such as dead drops, brief encounters, pickups, signals for loading and unloading, surveillance, and counter surveillance. The fifth block is executive protection, where Delta operators learn about executive protection. Finally, trainees undergo a culmination exercise that assesses their ability to apply the skills they learned during the OTC. Similarly, the training program for SEAL Team 6 is widely regarded as one of the toughest and most grueling in the world. The individuals who pass this selection process are referred to as Green Team, and they are required to complete an eight-month training course. The first phase of training involves close quarter battles, where trainees undergo high-pressure shooting scenarios. The training is faster and more intense than typical SEAL training, with scenarios presented in pitch-black darkness using night vision goggles. The hooded box drill tests the trainees' reflexes and decision-making abilities in split-second scenarios. Trainees undergo advanced skydiving training, which emphasizes jumping from high altitudes and opening chutes at various altitudes during night. Then, trainees learn to fly chutes in formation, known as a stack with the lead jumper navigating to the target and the others following behind. It's a challenging and skill-intensive training that sets SEAL Team 6 apart from standard SEAL training. Finally, trainees are trained in survival, evasion, resistance, and escape skills to prepare for missions deep behind enemy lines. Number four, Delta Force and SEAL Team 6 both use top-of-the-line firearms for their operations. Usually, Delta Force is armed with HK-416 M4A1 carbine and M249 machine guns. Similarly, SEAL Team 6 uses HK416 and Colt M4A1 carbine. They are also armed with MK46 and MK48 machine guns. Both units use MP7 submachine guns and a wide array of sniper rifles. These weapons are extensively customized to meet individual preferences, with modifications made to various parts such as stock, grips, sights, and other movable components. Both units have the most up-to-date technology at their disposal. This enables them to obtain critical information and execute precise and deadly strikes with exceptional accuracy. Now, with our better understanding of the selection, training, and weapons of these units, it is fascinating to know how they would compare in a head-to-head -head competition. If both SEAL Team 6 and Delta Force were assigned the same mission, which team would win? In a hypothetical situation, the results would be very close. Both units possess outstanding capabilities and their comparable training allows them to carry out a variety of missions with great efficiency. If the competition involves a maritime factor, SEAL Team 6 would have a significant advantage as they are known for their proficiencies in such operations, which includes underwater demolitions and combat diving. Further, their homogeneous culture and familiarity with each other, having worked together before joining the elite team, could give them a slight advantage during such operations. On the other hand, if we were to pit SEAL Team 6 against Delta Force in a brutal battle, their similar training and overlapping mission objectives would render their usual tactics ineffective. They would have to rely on their combat instincts and improvise to survive, where Delta Force would have the advantage. Unlike SEAL Team 6, the majority of Delta Force operatives have served in the infantry and have direct combat experience on ground, making them more adaptable to changing battle conditions and more effective in an ambush. Both elite units are undoubtedly among the best in the United States military and perhaps even in the world. Let us hope they never clash in reality. So what do you think? Which unit would win? Delta Force or SEAL Team 6? Take a moment to share your thoughts in comment section below. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, we would greatly appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, share our content, and subscribe.